Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Lamar Haven. Welcome back to Breath of Fire 3. So, Tifo and Ray had an absolutely terrible idea in the last episode. We ran into Bunyan on the road, were told to mug him, and we did un we were very unsuccessful at it. So Tipo and Roy f Ray figured, well if Bunyan's not home, that means free reign, right? Oy. So, can't do anything here, but there is something that will be here later in the game that we're going to want to look at. There's also something here. See a pleasant smelling field of flowers. Hmm, wonder what that's all about. Anyway, let's head back into the forest. Cedar Woods. Because if you remember, we ran into Bunyan here in the woods earlier. So, let us see. Uh oh. Battles in the woods? But it was completely peaceful and without enemies a while ago when we had no equipment. What changed? So after this uh, turn, I'm going to show you something very specific. Ow, that was a little loud. Uh, I'm going to show you something a little sp very specific that uh, might let you do this a little faster rather than tapping the X button over and over and over again. Aha! No damage. So if you hold L and just press A, or I'm sorry, not A, I'm using 360 controller, press X on your PlayStation controller, you will have that happen. Uh, it'll just tell them to attack as much as they can until your next official round of combat. That monster from Mount Glaus came down in the forest and ate all the animals. What are we going to do? Bunyan's a really good hunter, but I wonder if he can find anything to eat at a time like this. Huh. Bunyan's got a bit of a reputation around here, huh? Uh, well, that's his house. Uh-oh. Guess we're not getting there quite yet. We got a boss cop on the fight. Charge! Yes, attack Ray. Please attack Ray. I apologize for the silence. I had a bit of an issue that I had to take care of. But I'm back. The enemies are dead. We have money. Let's head on to Bunyan Shack, shall we? I mean, I may not agree with this whole thing about stealing from people, but if the food situation is as dire as it sounds, we kind of gotta eat. Bad Ripper. Go away, Ripper. 3 XP, come on. We can do better than that. Locked. Ray might be able to pick the lock. Ray picked the lock! So that's Ray's special skill if he's the leader of the group. Just as I thought. Nobody home. Keep your eyes open, Lamar. Someone may hear us if you make too much noise. Okay, let's split up and check the place out quietly. Okay. Uh, there's gotta be food around here. Uh, okay, I guess. Oh no, your tail! Lamar, shh. No, I just, the dish, just relax. Calm down. I didn't, oh, forget it. Anything in this shrubbery? I want, I want to, hold on. Vandalism! Oh, No vandalism. Nothing. Well, if you go over here, there's actually a ladder that I neglected to show you. You can come down into his basement. Looks like he's storing firewood, something in these crates. And here we will find... Beef jerky. Like one thing of it. Find something? Yeah, I guess. Hey, there's food here! Alright, come on, let's get out of here. For one thing a beef... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Old man Bunyan's gone home. Oof. We might be in trouble. I'll go check it out. Ray? Do you think that's the best I... Ray? I don't... If something happens, I'll distract him. And you guys get away, okay? I... That's awfully brave of you, Ray, but... <laughs> Everything's okay. There's no way Roy would get... <laughs> uh, I guess I'd better go and see what's happening. Yeah, you, you do do that, Tipo. Don't worry. We can get out of here, right? Of course we can. <laughs> uh. Oh, and then there was one. Oh, there's only one place to go. I really hope this doesn't go as badly as I think it might. Huh? Not a dust out of place. Furniture is still here. What on earth is going on? Ray Tipo? Are you uh oh? I knew you were up to no good. I can't talk to you, I'm unconscious. I didn't think you'd sunk this low. <laughs> At a time like this, when everyone is suffering, don't you know that if you don't work, you can't eat? Shut up! We were working! Tebow! Beavery isn't working! You just don't get it, do you? Robbing people isn't honest work. I tried to tell them that several times, Mr. Bunyan. Sir? I have half the mind to run you out of the woods, but... But? But is good. I like but. If you say you'll mend your ways, I could forgive and forget. What do you want us to do? Ray, you're a strong lad, aren't you? I've got a job for you. You've heard of Mount Glouse, haven't you? The big mountain north of the forest? Isn't that what the monster is? You'll know it when you see it. I want you to go there. Understand? I'm still trying to find a voice for him. And I'm just doing badly at it. Sorry. Just me? What about them? Don't worry. I've got something else in mind for them. You're keeping them as hostages, so I'll do what you want, right? Wow, Ray's sharp. Alright, I'll do it. I don't know what you're up to, but I'll go to Mount Klaus. Tivo, you keep an eye on Lamar. I don't need to be kept an eye on- okay, maybe a little. Hey, old man! What are we supposed to do? Work, Tipo. If you want to eat, you'll have to work. Understand? Well, I guess it's only fair. What you need to do is chop firewood. It's really simple. Tipo sets a log, and Lamar cuts it. You know how to use your sword, don't you? It's the triangle button. If you cut too fast, you'll hit Tipo. Cut too slow, you'll miss the log. Cut as many logs as you can until I tell you to stop. Understand? Yes, I get it. Jeez. Hey, no problem. We can do it in our sleep. Come on, let's get this over with. Alright then. Begin! Oops, that was too soon. Ha ha! So, this is basically somewhat of a rhythm game in a way, but it's more of a reaction game. You just wait until you see that hand of Tipo's go away from the log, oops, and you cut then. So you're trying to beat the timer, and if you get over a certain number, I think you get a reward, in fact. Oh, stop. Hmm, 18 logs. 
Not bad. There, we worked, didn't we? Now you won't complain if we steal, right? Tipo, you're... I don't even... You hurt my brain. Keep that up. One of these days, you'll be sorry. Don't you see that? <laughs> ha! Who cares? One day, real soon, we're getting out of here. I ain't afraid of nothing. Come on, Lamar. Let's go after Ray. Wait, really? Like, to Mount Gla- Oh, dear. Uh, Bunyan, you want to help us out here? No? Not even a little? Okay, then. Looks like we're headed to Mount Glaus. Without Ray. Oh god, this is gonna be a disaster. So, one thing you need to know before you head to Mount Glaus, you might want to do a little bit of grinding and some for levels and zenny. You don't want to go and uh, go on too far in here. So you press triangle, you get a guide pop up if you're on one of these type of plat areas where it's an actual zone. The road up to Mount Glaus is scenic. Watch out for monsters. So this is just another path on the way to Mount Gloves that we have to take. Uh-oh, enemies. Dun dun dun. And there are more Igoos that give us one XP apiece. Don't don't miss Tipo! Bad Tipo, bad. So I don't know if we get the full benefit of our formation when there's only two people. I think we might need a full three-band team. But I'll double-check in the menus just in case. It looks like I learned the skill Purify and Tipo learned Frost. I shouldn't use the term skill. That's actually something specific. Ability. I learned the ability Purify. Cures Poison. And Tipo learned Frost, which is exactly what you would think. It's just a Frost attacking on one target. Uh, let me go to Tactics. Formation. Nope. Defense still works. So I guess you just get normal benefit of the formation. Let's respect our environment. Don't hit, cut, or otherwise damage things. You know what? I'm a rebel. Uh, a total rebel. Oops. <laughs> so if you run at something and you hit it straight on with a character that can hit things like Tipo, it'll actually automatically hit hit in that direction, whatever he's, whatever he hits, he touches, I should say. So him hitting that rock that was in front of the boulder, that was him automatically doing it because I just ran into it. Great victory, 4 XP, 5 Zenny. This might take a while. Speaking of hitting things, ah! So if you kick over rocks, you'll sometimes find things underneath them, like a vitamin. Huh, this sort of looks familiar. Uh, nothing interesting there. Now I want to hit it. I want to knock over every single rock because we have no items. The hell is a puff? Whatever it is, it doesn't deal much damage. We take much damage. Oh dear. Uh, reprisals are counterattacks, essentially. Everybody has a chance to do them. Uh, how do I cancel out of a charge? I don't remember how. <laughs> Anyway, uh, nothing underneath that one either. So, reprisals, everybody can do them. Sometimes you can do a special thing with your reprisal, I believe. But enemies can do them, you can do them. Be careful and aware that it might happen. But it's not something you should count on happening often. Alright, since that's a, assuming some sort of crazed plant, let's use a fire attack on it. In the meantime, I'm gonna heal Tipo. Flare! I don't know if they're saying things in Japanese. It doesn't sound like it, for certain. But they they do sometimes. Sit, they do usually. I'm, I'm sorry. I should say they do always have this little saying with spells. Uh, well, not always. Always. There's. This, I'm being dumb. Ignore half the things I say, please. Now, that sharpened stick, I don't suppose anybody can equip that. Nope, I didn't think so. Hey, kick it! No, you can only do it at angles. Anything there? Coin! 
and 80 zenny. So that coin is going to be useful later. So keep that in mind that you have that. If you've played previous fire, uh, Breath of Fire games, I almost got a fire emblem. Uh, played previous uh, Breath of Fire games, you might know what that coin is for already. If not, you'll be in for an interesting surprise. Owie! Tipo, are you gonna take that with your fantastic hair? Didn't think so. Now, I can't tell if it's the specific art or sprite style of the game, or if Tipo and my character have very similar hair. Like, the way it parts and the way it looks on the head, it sort of looks really similar. Huh. Warning! This way to Mount Klaus. Alright, so we're not going to be going to Mount Klaus just yet. We have a couple things I want to take care of first. But here's Mount Glaus in case you want to know, and here's a guide. A rough mountain, usually avoided by people. There's a strange voice. But, uh, we actually... Huh, nothing here? I could have sworn there was something there. Anyway, uh, we want to see if we can buy any more equipment. We're also going to want to camp, and we want to save. Oh, and we don't want Tipo in charge. There we go. Last thing you ever want is Tipo in charge. Sorry, I voiced that. I didn't think he said something different. But apparently he does. So if I give myself the bronze sword, I can give the melted knife, melted sword to Tipo. So why don't we do that? Equip? Yes. Alright. Now I can also get bracers and a bandana. So why don't I get two bracers and a bandana just because they're super cheap. Alright. Oops. I almost attacked the shopkeeper. I'm learning really fast, Tipo. Uh, so now that we have that, let's give you the melted blade. And now we're both Pretty similar in stats, though Tebow's got slight advantage on us on everything. Huh. Go Tebow. The way their portraits look, though, their hair is way different from where the way the sprites look. The way the sprites look, it's a lot more, uh, wooshy. And wooshy. Really? Really, Lamar? Don't ever talk about hairstyles again, you idiot. Anyway, camp time. Come on, let's go after Ray. Mount Klaus is north of Cedar Woods. So if you're ever lost and can't think of what to do next, camping might be a good idea. Talk to the people in your camp and they'll usually tell you exactly where you're supposed to go. You don't always want to go where you're supposed to go, though. What do you want to do? Rest up. So... We're back at full health. We've got uh, a lot of stuff to got done this episode. And poor Ray is out in Mount Klaus all alone. We should go help him. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll